Hello! This tutorial video is meant to help introduce you to the program called Logger Pro, a software program that we will use to actually help us analyze data throughout the year. When you open up Logger Pro, the first thing you notice is this wide graphing screen, but then the second thing you'll see is a data table over on the left hand side. This is where we'll actually enter all of our numbers into Logger Pro so that they are plotted on the graph next to it. Now, before we can type any numbers in, we have to actually configure our columns so they actually show what we are plotting. For instance, in our first experiment, we are plotting position on the vertical axis and time on the horizontal axis. We have to tell Logger Pro that we're going to do that. So I'm going to double click on that horizontal or the X axis, and we are plotting time on this axis. Now we're going to fill in the short name for time just using T. T for time, and we're measuring time in seconds. It's important that all three of these fields are filled in for reasons that will become clear later on in class. When I click Done, you'll notice a couple things. The data set has now a column called Time, measured in seconds, and our graph has also now been labeled with Time, measured in seconds. We're going to do the same thing for the Y column by double-clicking on that. We were going to call that Position. So I will type in position. Now the strange thing is we're not going to be using P for position. We actually use X for like X marks the spot. I know that's a little tricky because we're used to having X on the horizontal axis. You'll get used to it though as we will plot lots of things on different axes this year. For position we measured in centimeters. So I will use that for my unit. Again, it's important that all three of these fields are filled in before you click done. Now, you'll notice both columns are labeled, as are both axes on our graphs. Excellent. We are ready to go ahead now and start putting numbers into our data columns. Now, one thing that was interesting about this experiment is that we did more than one trial for each configuration. And the easiest way to enter more than one trial into Logger Pro is to actually repeat the independent variable value for the number of trials. Here's what I mean. Suppose you took three different trials, and they started at time zero. Well, what I'm going to do is for the first one, I'm going to say zero seconds, and then zero seconds, and then zero seconds. And then for each trial, I'll put the corresponding position right here. Since we took data every two seconds, I will have three of the two seconds, three of the four seconds, three of the six seconds, and so on. I'll let you continue for the number of seconds that you took data. So now I'll go ahead and I will start entering the values for each of the three trials. For each of the trials in this configuration, it started at zero seconds and zero centimeters. So I'll put zero centimeters in there. I don't know if you noticed this, but as soon as I typed it in, it plotted the dot at zero, zero. Now, if I go ahead and I type in the values for my three trials at two seconds. I'm going to go ahead and make one of them a little different. You'll see that they get plotted along the way. I can do the same thing for this next one and the same thing for the last one in my example. So you see here that all of the data has been plotted and I can see the values for the trials associated with these data sets. Now what I'm going to do now is I want to show that we had another configuration in this lab activity. And so I have to actually plot another configuration on this same set of axes. That's not hard to do in Logger Pro. All I'm going to do is go up to this menu and click on Data and choose <clears throat> the option called New Manual Column. When I do that, I'll get a window that looks a lot like what we saw before. I'm going to call this position 2 because it's the second set of position data that we have from our second configuration. I'm going to call this x2 to remind myself it's different values than the last one, but we are still measuring in centimeters, so I'll type in cm for centimeters. Since all three of these are filled in, I'm ready to hit done. Now you'll notice that what happens is I get a new column here in my data set. It's called x2 and it's a little different color. Now, to help you see this, I'm going to shrink my graph a little bit, just so that we can see all of these at the same time. So I can show you that nothing went away, we just added a new column. 
by stretching this open, you can see it's still called position 2, but it used that short name when the column was too narrow. Now we're ready to enter our values in for the three trials of this configuration. But suppose maybe you didn't get time for all three trials. Maybe you only had time for two trials. So what I'm going to suggest is you don't have to fill in all three. So let's pretend that I had two trials, so I don't have to fill in the third one. Now, I'm going to put in two values then for each of the three times. I'm going to say 2 and 2.2. This one will be 4 and 4.2. Again, I'm just making up numbers here. And this one will be 6 and 6.4. So you can see I have all of the data still here. And I'm just plotting two trials for that second configuration. If you got three trials, fill in all three. Now, if I look over at the graph, the blue numbers have not been plotted. Well, that's because we're only plotting the red regular position. If I click on this heading of the vertical axis, you'll see I have the option of plotting position. I have the option of plotting position 2. Or what I would like is I'd like to plot both of those, all of the above. And so now you can see that we have both experimental configurations on one set of axes. We're almost finished. The last thing we want to do is to double click on our graph. And this is where we can actually type in a title for our graph. We're just going to call it position versus time for toy buggy. When I click done, you'll see there's a nice title for this graph. And our data is very nicely displayed and we're ready to discuss. So. This is our first use of Logger Pro, where we have plotted the data for three different trials, or two different trials, but for two different experimental configurations on one set of axes. Be sure to save your file. Knowing where you save it will make it easier for the next time we open this. I hope that this was meaningful. If you have questions, do not hesitate to reach out.